FOG Andrew here from the Family of Gamers. Welcome, War Gamers, to an exciting, awesome episode. So today I'm going to be doing another Lego Mario video. If you haven't seen my other two Lego Mario videos, go check those out as well after this one. But in this video, I'm going to be basically putting together a tiny little uh, little course and explain how Lego Mario works and kind of show him in action and what it's all about. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, if this is your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel for more Lego Mario videos coming out in the future, as well as the other stuff we have on the channel as well. But without further ado, let us get into it. So here is the little course that I put together. It's mostly stuff from the starter course, but I added a couple of things in there. But we have Lego Mario here, he's turned on, and I have my phone here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect Lego Mario to the Lego Super Mario app by pressing the Bluetooth button on his back. We're gonna click Lego Mario, and that's going to connect Lego Mario to the phone because what's gonna happen is is that it's gonna tell me um, what like coins I got from certain things and how many coins I got from certain things and all that so it's gonna be a little interesting we're gonna do this like I said this is a very simple course I have a Goomba here on top of this tower a mystery block here a very simple mechanism here uh, where you have to balance yourself on that. A Buzzy Beetle in the lava here. Bowser Jr. up here, which when you push this down, the tower falls, and then that's an easy way to get Bowser Jr. Another Goomba here. You run up here, and then you get the... Flag. Now, there are a few little house rules that I want to talk about. First off, when you go through the actual level, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go here. No, no, no. You have to go and specifically walk, hit the Goomba, knock it over, and go to the next thing. The reason being is that when Mario actually walks, he gets coins for just walking. So that's another way to actually get coins because, you know, when you walk, you actually get coins. So, you know, it, it just brings another way to get coins. Also, no cheating. You can't hit the Goomba 12 times to get 12 coins. It's not how this works. You hit it once and then you knock it over. So there ain't no cheating here, but let us start the level. Once we start the level, the phone recognizes that we have started it. So we're gonna go here. Gonna knock over the Goomba. Gonna come up here. Let's see what we get. Looks like we got a star block. We're gonna quickly try to move over here, balancing on this. We're gonna hit the Buzzy Beetle once. Oh, we ran out of the star. We're gonna knock over the Buzzy Beetle. Gonna knock over Bowser Jr. Hit him one, two, three, four, five times to get a bunch of coins. We're gonna go up here, hit the Goomba, knock him over, go here and end the level. So let's see how many coins we have actually gotten. Looks like we got 19 coins from this. Now if we go to the phone, it actually tells us what we got coins from. So it looks like we got 10 coins from Bowser Jr., three coins from the Buzzy Beetle, two coins from each Goomba, and only four coins from the, uh, the little balancing thing here. But let's try it again and see what could happen. So let's reset everything. What's nice about the Lego Mario stuff is, is that it is easy to basically reset everything. It's nothing crazy or whatever. But let's take him, put him in start pipe, and let's go. So we're gonna go here, back to the star, the uh, question mark block. Just got a bunch of coins from that. Let's see if I can stay on this thing longer. See, I'm getting more coins just from balancing myself on there. Right, I don't want to run out of time, so I think I'm going to move on. Hit the Buzzy Beetle twice. I'm going to knock over Bowser Jr. 
let's move them over here. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna come over here, get rid of the Goomba, and end the level. And now, let's see if we beat our high score, I guess, from before. Wow, okay, we did 54 coins in 40 seconds. And let's see what we got coins from. So that's 10 from Bowser Jr. We actually got 27 from balancing on this. 10 coins from the question mark blog, only two coins from the Goombas, three from the Buzzy Beetle, and just two coins from actually physically walking. So we're gonna do this one more time. Let's see if we can get even more coins. So we gotta beat 54. And let's restart the app. And let's go. Alright, get rid of the Goomba, go up here, got a bunch of coins there. Let's try to balance on here a little bit longer, see what we can do. It's coming off of there, come on, give me some coins, alright. Take out the Fuzzy Beetle. Let's take out Bowser Jr. One, two, three, four, and five. Take out this Goomba. And finishing up. Let's see what we did here. 60, what is it, 61 coins. So let's see uh, how we did here. Only three more seconds, but 10 from Bowser Jr., three, uh, 33 from balancing on that, three from the Buzzy Beetle, uh, from the Goombas, actually, uh, three from the Buzzy Beetle, two from walking, and 10 from the question mark block. So, pretty interesting, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the course system is. Now, the other thing is, too, you know, you can customize it however you want. You can take the pieces apart and connect them however you want, which is awesome. So you can do whatever you want. Plus, with all the stuff I have, go check out the uh, organizing video. There are a ton of different possibilities that you can do with this course building system. So that is essentially how the course building system for LEGO Super Mario works. Again, you can do whatever you want, try to get as many coins as possible in the smallest course you can or the biggest course you can. You can combine everything or you can do like a small little thing. I just did a small little thing just to show you exactly how it works with Mario scanning all of the stuff and uh, you know the Goombas, the question marks blocks, the interactive stuff. All that stuff is really cool, but go check out the other two videos if you haven't already on LEGO Super Mario that I did, and stay tuned for more LEGO Super Mario videos coming out in the future because I have plenty of stuff planned, so stay tuned for that. And uh, the algorithm says that you have to click this video right here because the algorithm gets sad. Also, subscribe if you haven't. Check out the Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one.